you're about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck. And lest us all beseech the blessings of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking.
gotta get the wire cleared! Patterson, you're up! Get over here! Private Jones has enough Bangalores to clear a hole in the wire, but he's been behind that Belgian gate down the line. Help Jones back to our position. We'll give you cover fire. Wait for my order. Covering fire! Go, go, go! Patterson! I won't make it back with this load of Bangalores unless you give me cover. Stay behind me and keep shooting! Ready?
June 6, 1944. 175,000 Allied soldiers breached the walls of Fortress Europe through intense German resistance. By late June, Sherberg had fallen, giving the Allies the port they so desperately needed. By early August, Eisenhower had amassed an Allied army of over one million strong. Treacherous field-to-field -field hedgerow fighting unleashed a breakout across France. With the Germans in full retreat, the Allies marched into Paris. Field Marshal Montgomery moved north into Belgium, while General Patton and the Third Army pushed to the Siegfried Line. It was here that the Allies encountered their newest enemy, the lack of sufficient supplies. Patton's plan was to run straight through the teeth of the Siegfried Line directly to Berlin. Monty had devised a daring airborne operation that had the potential of ending the war by Christmas. Having only enough supplies to support one advance, the fate of thousands rested in the hands of the few. With Allied superiority on land, sea, and air, what could go wrong? Good morning, Lieutenant Patterson. It's a pleasure to see you again. You're looking well-rested. Good. I'll need you in tip-top shape for your new assignment. You've proven to be quite resourceful, especially your performance most recently in scuttling U-4901. All things considered, you're the ideal candidate for this mission. So let's get down to brass tacks, shall we?
the success of the Allied invasion of Normandy prompted an assassination attempt on the Führer. A cadre of high-ranking Nazi leaders planted a bomb during a meeting. Unfortunately, he survived. He's used this attempt on his life to clean house and solidify his power. Whatever remaining sanity the Nazi leadership possessed has been gutted by Hitler's subsequent arrests and executions. He has appointed new leaders more in tune with his insane ideals. That man is bent on sacrificing every last German citizen rather than accept defeat. We need to stop him cold and do it now. Reports from our allies in France suggest that there's been heavy activity in the port of Lorient, a manufacturing facility for their deadly U-boats. It was previously run by one of the would-be assassins. Now Hitler has one of his most trusted advisers in charge. Jimmy, we need to know what's going on at that base. We've arranged for you to be dropped on the outskirts of St. Mathieu, where our 101st Division is still encountering some resistance. Intelligence states that a German U-boat is making an unscheduled resupply stop at the seaport there. Our only opportunity to infiltrate this fortified shipyard is by smuggling you aboard this vessel and waiting until it reaches its port. I know it's tight quarters, Jimmy, but for you, familiar territory. We're sending you back to sea, my boy.
Scharf da drinnen. Das Zeug ist schwer wie Blei.
Lassen wir doch wollen überraschen. Fahne drüber, was?
Wartet, bis er im Schussfeld ist.
Ja, Herr Stonger. Von unseren Bonas Sicherheitsbestimmungen könnten Sie allerdings noch was lernen. Ja, da haben Sie recht.
By 1940, Hitler's promise of no bombs dropped on German cities was rendered hollow by Allied heavy bombers. This drove home the reality that the Luftwaffe lagged behind the Allies in a number of areas. Field Marshal Goering needed an aircraft capable of shooting down Allied bombers before they had the chance to drop their payload on Germany, and this demand prompted the production of a revolutionary jet fighter different from any other aircraft Germany had produced before. This endeavor was named a 3 times 1000 project. It called for a heavy fighter capable of flying 1,000 kilometers distance at 1,000 kilometers an hour and with a 1,000 kilogram payload. To achieve this, the Germans turned to a team of brothers with an astonishing new design. 